Hello everyone, my name is Miss Tina and we are at the Palos Heights Public Library and this is our Kindergarten Ready Story Time. This story time session is going to be all about dogs and I have my friend George right here. And I wanted to remind all our friends that this Saturday, September 11th, we will be having a dog adoption event at the Palos Heights Public Library from 11 o'clock until 1 in the afternoon. So please check our social media for any more details. We are on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so we are going to get right to it. And to start off our story time, we always say a hello song. And to say hello, we're gonna put our hands up on our forehead and we say hello. And to say friends, we're gonna take one friend here, one friend here, and they're gonna give each other a hug. Okay, so let's start our story time song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Great job. Now we're going to go ahead and start our first story and it is titled Dog Breath and it is by Dave Pilkey. So the full title is Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis. There once was a dog named Hallie who lived with the Tosis family. Hallie Tosis was a very good dog, but she had a big problem. Hallie Tosis had horrible breath. Whenever Hallie Tosis opened her mouth, horrible things happened. When the children took Halitosis for a walk, everyone else walked on the other side of the street. Even skunks avoided Halitosis. But the real trouble started one day when Grandma Tosis stopped by for a cup of tea and Hallie jumped up to say hello. Mr. and Mrs. Tosis were not amused. Something had to be done about that smelly dog, they said. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis decided to find a new home for Hallie. The children knew that the only way they could save their dog was to get rid of her bad breath. So they took Halitosis to the top of a mountain that had a breathtaking view. They hoped the breathtaking view would take Hallie's breath away, but it didn't. Next, the children took Halitosis to a very exciting movie. They hoped that all the excitement would leave Hallie breathless. But it didn't. Finally, the children took Hallie Tosis to a carnival. They hoped that Hallie would lose her breath on the speedy roller coaster. But that idea stunk too. The plans to change Hallie's bad breath had failed. Now, only a miracle could save Halitosis. Sadly, the three friends said goodnight, unaware that a miracle was just on the horizon. Later that night, when everyone was sound asleep, Two sneaky burglars crept into the Tosis household. The two burglars were tiptoeing through the dark, quiet rooms when suddenly they came upon Hallie Tosis. Yikes, whispered one burglar. It's a big, mean, scary dog. Aw, don't be silly, whispered the other burglar. That's only a cute 
little fuzzy puppy. The two burglars giggled at the sight of such a friendly little dog. That dog couldn't hurt a fly, whispered one burglar. Come here, Poochie Poochie, whispered the other. So Halitosis came over and gave the burglars a nice big kiss. Slurp. The next morning, the Tosis family awoke to find two burglars passed out cold on their living room floor. It was a miracle. The Tosis family got a big reward for turning in the crooks. And soon, Halitosis was the most famous crime-fighting dog in the country. In the end, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis changed their minds about finding a new home for Hallie. They decided to keep their wonderful watchdog after all. Because life without Halitosis just wouldn't make any sense. Isn't that a fun story? Okay. Now, for our next activity, George has hidden a puppy under one of his balls. Can you help me find the puppy? Let's see. Hmm. Let's count how many balls we have first. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of balls. Let's see. How about we try the little blue one first? No, no puppy there. How about the orange one? No. No puppy there either. Maybe a pink one? Nope, still no puppy. How about a yellow one? Nope, not there either. Let's try some of the big balls now. Let's try the big blue one. Nope, no puppy. How about the big pink one? Nope, still no puppy. Should we try the big yellow one? There he is. We found the puppy. How many balls do we have left? One, two, three. So now our puppy right here can go and play with the three balls. Great job. Okay, let's read our next story. This book is titled, The Stray Dog, and it is by Mark Simon. It was a great day for a picnic. What's this? asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Let's take Willie home, said the children. No, said the father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother, and they would miss him.
On the way home, the girl said, Maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. During the week, all the family had Willie on their minds. Saturday came. Willie, they all cried when he appeared. But Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. He has no collar. He has no leash said the dog warden. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. The boy took off his belt. Here's his collar, he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. Here's his leash, she said. His name is Willie and he belongs to us. They took Willie home, and after that, they introduced him to the neighborhood, where he met some very interesting dogs. And Willie settled in where he belonged. The end. That's another happy little story. Okay, now George has another game planned for us. He seems to have lost his bark. Let's see, George, can you bark for us please? Quack! Oh no. George, what do you have here? It's a duck. George, can you bark for us now? Moo! Uh-oh. He has a cow. George, can you bark again? Quack, 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 quack. That George had a chicken. George, can you give us another bark? Bah! Oh no. He has a sheep. Okay, George, let's bark again. Nay! Oh. He had a horse. Okay, George, now if you want a bone, you're gonna have to give us a bark, okay? Woof, woof. I think that was a bark. Great job, George. Here's your bone. <laughs> oh, George is very silly. Okay, let's read our last book. And this book is titled Dog Loves Books, and it is by Louise Yates. Dog loved books. He loved the smell of them, and he loved the feel of them. He loved everything about them. Dog loved books so much that he decided to open his own bookstore. He unwrapped, unpacked, and stacked the books ready for the grand opening. When the day of the grand opening finally came, Dog had a bath, dried his fur, blew his nose, and threw open the door to greet his new customers. But there was no one there. 
So Dog tried to keep busy. And then a lady came into the store. I'll have a tea with milk and two sugars, she said. I'm sorry, said Dog, but this is a bookstore. I only sell books. The lady walked out. Dog was alone. He waited and waited. Then a man came into the store to ask for directions. When he left, Dog was downhearted, but not for long. He wouldn't wait a moment more. Dog fetched a book from the shelf and began to read. When he read, he forgot he, that he was waiting. When he read, he forgot that he was alone. When he read, he forgot that he was in the bookstore. And when one adventure ended, Dog simply took another book down from the shelf and a new adventure began. So Dog was somewhere else altogether when a customer came into the store to ask for a book. Dog knew exactly which ones to recommend. Dog loves books, but most of all, he loves to share them. The end. Bet you didn't know dogs like books as much as you do, huh? All right, that is the end of this story time. And to say goodbye, we always end with a goodbye song and we wave our hand and say goodbye. Okay, let's do our song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Great job. I'll see you next time.